Hello, welcome to this session of the electronics. Myself Sam Gore. Today we are discussing about the characteristics of radio receivers. So let us see the characteristics of radio receiver. The important characteristics of radio receivers are selectivity, sensitivity, and the fidelity and these characteristics are very useful to judge the performance of radio receiver so let us see the sensitivity of the radio receiver actually the definition of sensitivity is the its ability to amplify the weak signal. In radio receiver, radio receiver picks up the signal from the space and that signals are very very weak. Therefore, the good radio is that radio or the good receiver is that receiver which can amplify the any signal that any weak signal which can be amplified by the receiver we can say that that receiver is very good receiver means how the receiver can sense the signals so this sensitivity means ability to amplify the weak signal okay and it is defined in terms of the input voltage that must be applied at the input of the radio receiver to obtain the standard output actually the input voltage is the very very small which is picked up by the radio receiver and therefore the sensitivity is measured in terms of micro volt or it also be measured in terms of the decibel below the one volt this is the sensitivity curve for the am receiver here the frequency change from the 600 to the 1400 kilohertz and here the sensitivity of that radio receivers if you if you looking towards this curve this curve shows the minimum sensitivity at 850 kilohertz here the sensitivity is a very minimum for the 850 kilohertz so this is the sensitivity of the radio receiver next characteristic is the selectivity Sele we know that the selectivity selectivity means the selection we are going to the market suppose we are going to the going to purchase the cloth then we select the only one cloth or only one shirt out of the all the shirts which are available on the shop and that is known as the selectivity and here also the selectivity of radio receiver is ability to reject the unwanted signal here in the space there are the number of unwanted signals and all these unwanted signals reject by the receiver and therefore the good receiver is that receiver which reject the all unwanted signal and select only one signal that is the desired signal so the ability to reject the unwanted signal is known as the selectivity of the radio receiver here this is the selectivity curve for the radio receiver and the selectivity for the radio receiver offers the minimum rejection at 950 kilohertz here 
the receiver which is tuned at the 950 kilohertz here the receiver offers the minimum rejection at this frequency that is the 950 kilohertz at the frequency at that frequency the rejection uh, when the frequency is vary from 950 kilohertz above the 950 kilohertz or the below the 9 kilohertz then the rejection is increases the selectivity of super heterodyne reading receiver is determined by the IF amplifier actually it is depends upon the performance of the intermediate frequency amplifier okay so this is the selectivity of the radio receiver then let us see the fidelity and the fidelity is the ability to recover or ability of receiver to reproduce the all modulating frequencies equally radio receiver face to the all frequency that is the minimum frequency to the maximum frequency and the fidelity means to reproduce the all modulating frequencies equally you see that the tuned radio frequency receiver tuned radio frequency receiver works for the low frequency variable but at high frequency the trf radio receiver have many problems and therefore the fidelity means the ability of a radio receiver to repro reproduce all modulating frequency equally means it can perform uh, same for the low frequency as well as for the high frequency so this is the fidelity curve fidelity basically depends upon the frequency response of audio amplifier and the typical fidelity curve is shown in this figure the high fidelity is required to produce the good quality music faithfully without introduction of the any distortion we have to produce the flat frequency response of the radio receiver this is the flat frequency response for the radio receiver means at the low frequency um, it's it can reproduce the output and at the high frequency also the output is the same is its uh, fidelity is mm -hmm. good so this is the actually the frequency response of the audio amplifier okay means we for the low frequency if the receiver produce the good quality audio and for high frequency receiver produce the good quality audio then we can say that the fidelity of radio receiver is good so this is the fidelity of radio receiver then let us see the another characteristics that is known as the image frequency and its rejection in broadcast amplitude model receiver the local oscillator frequency is higher than the incoming frequency you seen that in the uh, super heterodyne radio receiver uh, the intermediate frequency is nothing but the difference of the two frequencies one frequency coming from the local oscillator and another frequency coming from the antenna so here the local oscillator frequency that is the fo is equal to fs minus fs plus if and if is equal to fo minus fs this is the intermediate frequency if the two frequency component that is the f1 and f2 are mixed at the input of the mixer then the output of the mixer consists of the different components if the input frequency that is the f1 and f2 f1 is greater than f2 then the output of the mixer must contain the f1 f2 f1 minus f2 and f1 plus f2 these components are produced by the mixer and out of all these 
only one uh, component that is the difference of the two frequencies that is AF1 minus F2 is selected by the tune circuit of the mixer and we assume that the local oscillator frequency is set to the FO then unwanted signal that is the FSI and FSI is equal to FO plus IF. Here this is the local oscillator frequency. Suppose the local oscillator frequency is equal to FO. Okay. And here our desired signal is equal to the FS. Okay. And the difference between these two signals that is the local oscillator frequency and desired frequency is equal to the 455 kilohertz and this is known as the intermediate frequency and this difference that is the 455 kilohertz is fed to the detector okay but sometimes the same difference that is the 455 kilohertz is produced and but this difference is equal to this local oscillator frequency minus the another frequency that is known as the image frequency okay and here this image frequency which is the unwanted signal okay this unwanted signal due to the unwanted signal the same intermediate frequency is produced so the image frequency is equal to fs plus 2 times intermediate frequency when fo is greater than fs and this image frequency is equal to fs minus 2 times intermediate frequency if fs is greater than fo okay and this frequency that is the unwanted signal frequency is known as the image frequency okay and this image frequency is equal to the local oscillator frequency plus intermediate frequency that is the IF let us see how to reject this image frequency this FSI that is the image frequency is managed to reach at the input of the mixer and the mixer output consists of the four component that is the FO, FO plus IF, 2 FO plus IF and IF. If such unwanted signal is reached to the input of the mixer, then mixer gives such types of the output. Okay where the last component that is the intermediate frequency is difference between the unwanted signal frequency that is known as the image frequency and the local oscillator frequency. So image frequency is equal to FS, FSI is equal to FS plus 2 times intermediate frequency and due to this image frequency we get the sound of the another station so this is the problem of image frequency and this image frequency can be reduced with the help of such that is the rejection of image frequency by single tune circuit and for the single tune circuit if the alpha is equal to gain at the signal frequency and then the gain at the image frequency that is the alpha is equal to under root of 1 plus q square into rho square and here the q is the q factor of the tune circuit and alpha is the image frequency rejection ratio and here this rho is equal to the ratio of the image frequency to signal frequency minus signal frequency to image frequency so rho is equal to fsi divided by fs minus fs divided by fsi and for the improvement of the capability of the radio receiver the image frequency must be reject okay the value of image frequency rejection ratio should be as high as 
possible. This image frequency ratio should be high to reject the image frequency. Double spotting. Actually, the double spotting is very well known phenomena and which manifest itself by picking up of the same shortwave station at two nearby point on the radio receiver dial. When we dial the radio receiver or when we uh, tune one station then our radio receiver pick up the two signals instead of picking up the one signal it can pick up the two signals and we hear the two sounds from the different stations means our radio receiver pick up the two nearby signals means the two signals received by the receiver at the same time is known as the double spotting and it can cause the poor selectivity of the radio receiver that is inadequate image frequency rejection if the image frequency rejection is low then such types of the problem is RNS means our radio receiver uh, select or our radio receiver gives the sound of the two station simultaneously and this is says that the front end of the receiver does not select the different adjacent signal very well. If the intermediate frequency stage take care of the elimination of all these signal frequency, then this being the case that it is obvious that the precise tuning of the local oscillator is what determines which signal will be amplified by the IF amplifier and due to the lack of selectivity the radio receiver can mask by the reception of near strong station at the spurious point on the dial when the selectivity is poor then when the radio receiver receives the two signals, then the strong signal will mask the uh, poor signal. So this is the problem of picking up the two station at the same point by the radio receiver, which is known as the double spotting. And this can be arises due to the image frequency. So, we have to reduce the image frequency for avoiding the double spotting of the radio receiver. Okay, these are the some of some of the characteristics of the radio receiver, and from that we can say that the performance of the radio receiver. Okay, thank you, thank you for watching this video.